let's continue 6.1 introduction to data okay in this video we just focus for learning outcomes c construct and interpret stem and leaf diagrams stem and leaf diagram another way of grouping data without losing its originality is by drawing the stem and leaf diagram stem the digit or digits that remain when the leaf is cropped. Leaf, the last digit on the right of the number. Stem and leaf diagram must be accompanied by a key to show how the data is represented. The stem and leaf diagram gives us a good idea of the shape of the distribution. The types of distribution are given below. The first type of distribution is skewed to the right or positively skewed. And the frequency curve is like this. Okay. The second type of distribution is symmetrical or bell shaped. And the frequency curve is should be like this, like a bell. Okay, the last type is skewed to the left or negatively skewed. And the frequency curve is should be like this. Okay, look at for example 2. The height of 13 students measured to the nearest centimeter were taken below. Construct a stem and leaf diagram. Okay, to draw a stem and leaf diagram. Draw like this one. Left side is stem. Right side is leaf. Okay. 400. Put the first two digits as stem. Here is 100, 10, 11, 10, 10, and 10. Okay. For 10, put the first digit as 10. 10. So, 8, 9, 8, 9, 9, 9. Here is 9. 9 and the last digit for each number as leaf okay next identify the lowest value and the highest value the lowest value is 86 means stem is 8 and leaf is 6 and the highest value is 113 stem is 11 and leaf is 3 list down the stem starts with 8 and end with 11 8 9 10 11 next insert the raw data into left side okay start with 103 so put the last digit 3 on the left side next 89 9 92 113 86 99 100 97 99 95 107 104 and last is 898 Rearrange the data in the left side in ascending order. 
Okay, 496 become 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, 9. And the stem 11, the leaf remain 3 because we have one leaf. Write the key 9 slash 5 means 95. It's done.